So we have what three colors? Red, doo -doo -doo -doo, red, green, gray. So this is black tile and the red tile and green tile. So we want to <clears throat> have the number of ways to lay out a walkway with slate tiles if the tiles are these three colors and no two red tiles are adjacent and tiles of the same color are considered indistinguishable. So, all right, what do we do? So is that saying the red tiles can be next to each other, but the right. black and the green tiles have um, to be next to each other? Would this be the same problem as saying that we had a 0, 1, 2 bit stream, and we don't allow a 1, 1 bit, not a bit string, but a tri string, right? So it would be three types. So this would be a trishonary problem. So it's the same thing, right? This would be the same thing as like saying, oh, you can have 0, 1, 2 in terms of a string, but you're never allowed to have 1, 1. So we already done a 1, 1 problem, right? And so that's one of the things that we try to do. It's a new problem, is it? I know how to do this problem. I don't know how to do this problem. Can I make my old problem that I know how to do fit to be this problem? And so we could look at this as something that has this whole idea of a no 1, 1. Well, how did, back when we had 0 and 1, how did we do the no 1, 1 problem? This is kind of the same idea, right? So it's like, hmm, seems to be similar to this. How did we do the no one one? Anybody remember how we did that? If this had, if it was a, a length n, a sub n is the number of ways, right? with no 1, 1 in it, right? That's what a sub n represented. Now, if I did a sub n, it was equal to, if I was going to make a string that had no 1, 1 with it, right, what could you do? You could start off with a 0, right? So if I started off with a 0, so my string, so this could be made up as a, a 0 for bit 1, and then bit 2, bit 3, up to bit n, like this, right? Now, if this was valid, what would I know? This is a valid no 1, 1 string. Since it started with a 0, what does that tell you about these guys right here? There is no 1, 1 in it, right? But what would count that? The a sub function, right? But how long is this? n minus 1, so I would rather use a sub n minus 1. On the other hand, if I start with a 1, well, we've got an issue here. There's a possibility that if I just simply said bit 2, that could be a 0 or a 1. If it's a 1, I, that would be a problem. I'm not supposed to count that. So I need to make sure I'm creating things that, cannot be that can be counted, which means don't have 1, 1s in it. If you start with a 1, right, and actually this is constructive. If you start with a 1, what can you definitely not have immediately after? 1, because that's bad. So if you start with a 1, you must follow with a 0, because 1, 1, make this into a game. Just like if I say no, all right, imagine yourself writing down bit strings, and if you got to 1, 1, it blew up the room, right? Like, all right, the game, I'm lost. How would you do this? I'd write down a 1. Okay, what are you going to do next? It's going to be important. Because you write down a 1, the very next thing cannot be a 1. It immediately dictates what the second object is. So it has to be a 1, 0, period. If you start with a 1, it must follow with a 0, because if it followed with a 1, we'd have a problem. But then I don't care, right? The rest of this would be bit 3 onto bit n, but I do know I need no one one in it, and what counts that? 
a sub n minus 2. All right. Now I make this into a recurrence relation. How many, ways to, how many ways can you write 0? There's one way to write a 0. And we would say, so it would be 1 times a sub n minus 1, so just a sub n minus 1. Or how many, ways to, how many ways to write 1, 0? 1. And then it would be a sub n minus 2. Is everybody okay with that? Now, let's go back. So this is just a, a, this is just a memory problem. Take things that you know how to do, and now we're going to vary it. All right, I'm going to take my black, red, green object here, and I'm told red, red, if I write down red, red, game's over. Bad things happen. So paste. So here's the real problem. None of that stuff I wrote was things that you had to write down. It's, it's things to remember. This is a problem that we've done, and we need to understand what that problem is. How would you tile if you had three tiles? Let's, let's start really, let's say you were bl a blind person. How do you actually tile things in a row? If it was like just this line on the floor, and I, I would just think one line of tiles. How would you do that? I put down the first tile. Then what would you do? Put down the second tile until you finished with n, right? That's how you that's how you tile, right? Let's assume, and that's kind of an interesting question there. You know, you go through it and say, all right, you know, recurrence relation, no two red tiles adjacent and tiles of the same color are considered indistinguishable. That tells us what that tells you is you've got three tiles and they're only three tiles. It's like, oh, I have a red and I have another red. But it's a different red. Oh, that's what we're allowing you to do. Because, and honestly, have you ever, how many people have tiled? Yeah, it's kind of important when you lay down tiles is that the, oh, look, they're the same tiles, or usually it's not. There's like like little subtleties in it. So you'll do like, oh, I need to do a, a 90 degree turn or a 180 turn to get the pattern going as you go through it. All right, you usually look for some sort of uniqueness within the pattern. But what they're saying here is, is that these are just plain, like this, you know, typical super cheap printed on tile. All right, so we don't do any 90 degree, uh, 90 degree twists to make it unusual. And also, normally when I would consider tiling, I would consider a square room. But then I asked, said this acts like a bit stream. So they're tiling all of a sudden. Does it jump out and say that for recurrence relation for the number of ways to lay out a walkway with slate tiles? I've laid out walkways. They're usually not one tile wide. But... That's probably what they mean. Does that seem reasonable? Because if it wasn't what they mean, we've got a really complicated problem because I have no why, how, how, how wide is this? Five tiles that way, seven tiles this way, what are you talking about? Right? So let's assume it's one tile wide. Seems reasonable. All right. So what, what I would do is pick a tile. How many choices do you have? I have three choices. So I could start off with, say, black, so copy, paste, or I could start off with green, copy, paste, or I could start off with, and now we're going to have a bit of a flag red and then so my a sub n which is going to count how many ways can it make something of length n is going to do one of those things but this red guy is going to be problematic right if i start off with black what would i then have i would follow it up with tile 2 tile 3 up to tile n i could do tile 2 tile 3 up to tile n right now what would i know about these tiles there's no red red, right? So this has no red red in it. So what would count it? A n minus one. What do I know about these tiles? These will have no red red, which is a n minus one counts that. Now, if you start out with red, all right. Now comes now comes the problem. 
can I follow with a red? No, because the red all of a sudden says, all right, this is a problem. Red, red leads to my red, red problem. So I can't have just red and then have any tile. I need to have red and it's going to be followed by what? It has to be either black or green. Then the rest of the tiles, which are tile 3, tile 4, up to tile n, will have no red red in them, but that's a sub n minus 2. Is everybody okay with that? So what does this thing look like as a formula? All right. A sub n is equal to how many ways to lay down a black tile? One, and we then do the rest. A n minus one have no red red. Or, how many ways to lay down a green tile? One, and then we do the rest. Or, now this is important, how many ways can I start with a red? There's two, because it has to be what? red black or red green so there are two ways to do that but then what would be left over the a n minus two if i simplify this what is this formula there's two a sub n minus ones and two a sub n minus twos is everybody okay with that now i could have just simply took you know See that two? That's just those two. I could have just jammed those two together and said, oh, I can start with a black or a green. I don't choose, and it has a mana minus one. But I like to kind of break it down this way because it kind of goes down through the physical process of laying out a tile. On the other hand, is there any difference between this problem and saying that I want a string with a zero, a one, or a two, trinary, and I never allow a one, one? No difference at all. It's the exact same problem. It's just a different physicality in our mind about what's being constructed. Is everybody okay with that? Could I do any variation that I wanted in terms of bad things? I could say, I don't want a red, red. I don't want a blue, blue, a green, green, whatever. Okay. It all comes down to that constructive process of how you would do it. Now, does this entire thing right here even give us a way to tile the floor? Does it tell you how to tile the floor? Do inductive tools build sequences? Yes. So would this tile the floor? Yes. So how do I tile the floor? I get on my knees and I have three choices. Pick whichever one you want. Lay it down. But the moment I lay down a red, what's my next choice? Black or green? Pick it. Go to the third tile. What's your choice? Anything you want because now you're back into the original problem, right? I can pick black, green, or red. Okay, I pick a black. Now what's my next choice? Three choices, pick black, green, or red. Oh, I can just put it. So it tells me how to go about doing this, right? If I pick a red, I actually have to pick another tile immediately and I have two choices on it. But once I'm there, I'm back into the formula of either a sub n minus one, which, which says start over, pick a red, green, or black. But if you pick a red, you only have two choices. Once you pick it, go back to the beginning. Red, green, or black. So we okay that this is actually a way to lay it out. It tells you how to do it. Now, what would be the basis? Now that we have our inductive formula, what's the least number of tiles that you can do? Well, that's actually true, right? And I'll, I'll hold that off for a second. But if I was asking for actual, like, for example, when people all say, like, when's the next millennium start? Like, for example, we went from 1999, and the people said, oh, probably like 2000, right? But did the millennium end on 99 to 2000? Let's put it this way. When do you start another stack of money? When you drop the 2,000th dollar? Or when does the next stack start? When you drop the one. Why is that? Because we start counting at one for physical things. 
so that's why 2001 was the next start because 2000 was the last of the stacks because we counted years at they didn't have zero when I started off the calendar right it's like it went one it's zero no it's one it's the one the two when are you done when I drop the 2000 when do I start the next 2001 so dropping tiles right we could do zero but that's kind of a mathematical thing and we can and it might actually work for our problem but let's think uh, let's drop one tile for one tile what what does that look like one tile looks like what red black green how many of those are not red red do we okay with that what about a2 what is a2 it could be black black it could be black red it could be black green it could be red 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 and then black and then red and then green and it could be green 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 black green red and green green is everybody okay with that being the one two three four five six seven eight. why is there nine well no I'm just writing down all two tiles why are there nine two tiles there's three options for each tile this is a counting problem right why do I know there must be nine how many choices for the first tile how many choices for the second tile if I tell you to do two tiles you do the first tile and the second tile three times three three squared nine I have to have nine but what does the a sub count everything except for red red how many red reds do you see one so what does it spit out eight so that's my basis do we okay with that all right so I have that my a sub n was twice a sub n minus one plus twice a sub n minus two where a sub one was three and a sub two was eight so for my sequence if I wanted to follow just this was applications right you just simply spit out the sequence my sequence goes three eight what's next what's the formula twice and twice plus twice right what's twice three plus twice eight what's twice three twice eight so six and sixteen all right and so that is a1 that is a2 that is a3 what's a4 what's twice 8 what's twice 22 what is 16 and 44 a5 what is twice 60 120 what's twice 22 44 and 120 how high did they want us to go a7 or something all right, I'm not going to do that. Dot, dot, dot. 